Right. Hello. Welcome to this Wednesday's update. This is Greg Waitella, Superintendent of North Tonawanda City Schools, and today is June 24th, 2020. So uh, by this time, report cards are all out, so that's good news. And we are doing our final preparations and measuring and decorations for graduation coming this Sunday, the 28th. So we're looking forward to that and seeing you all on Sunday, the 28th. So a few things that um, we want to share today. Let's see if I can get this to work. So we started a thought exchange that um, I think I posted right now in the comment section here. There should be a link that will take you to the thought exchange for parents and students. So our minds have already been shifted a few, you know, throughout the, this time about uh, what September will look like. And I mentioned in the last Facebook Live that there's really three plans that we heard from the regents and the state that we're waiting to get a final approval on from them in mid-July. And then uh, each school district will come up with a plan for how that'll work. So plan one, basically, is school is normal as we know it. Plan two is the distance learning, which is what we've had to do now in case you know, you're seeing in Florida and, and Texas and places that uh, the counts are back up and they're on the rise. So we don't know what it'll look like in New York in September, but we're sort of familiar with the distance learning piece. And the next one is sort of a hybrid, uh, split sessions or uh, mornings or afternoons or every other day type of thing. So those are some of the uh, plans that we heard that Albany was discussing based on smaller class sizes and things that we might need to do. So the thought exchange, is asking you what worked well or what could we do better with distance learning. And we realized that um, this cut a lot of people off guard and we had some students who didn't engage at all and we had other students that didn't have technology. So um, the district's really working on a plan to sort of do a questionnaire for parents to see who needs, number one, the Wi-Fi or that kind of access and then who needs devices and then the district sort of revamping um, the 4 through 12 program to use Schoology going forward. So we'll be training teachers in 4, 5, and 6 and getting devices ready for those grade levels. And then we have a committee that will start together for what K3 might look like. Uh, so how do we meet? How often do we meet? All those types of things will be discussed. So we hope you'll take a minute to click on the thought exchange and give us your thoughts. And the way it works, if you haven't used it before, is it'll ask you a couple of questions on this one. I didn't do a lot of identifiers, but it's um, what school or age level, grade level were you at, and um, maybe what building you were in. So, because if it's a K through three, um, we wanted to know what elementary building you were in. Then you can put in a thought, you can say, you know, I thought my teacher did a great job um, reaching out to me each week. You can put in, um, I didn't like using Schoology, um, it was hard to get clear information. And then when parents read your thought, they star it. And the most stars or the most thoughts that get starred um, sort of kind of rise to the top. And that gives the district and our committees an area to start focusing and looking at. Oh, look at, you know, 800 people took the survey and 700 are saying it was hard to get the information. Let's dig into that and see what that means and maybe do some more. So that's the first start. Then we're also looking to launch a online web page sort of survey monkey type of survey as well. Uh, and then uh, have another one uh, once we get the direction from the state in mid-July and we have some direction we'll have more pointed questions on transportation and busing and students and masks or gloves and how that will work in a school and, and distancing so so please take a minute and use thought exchange uh, I want to remind everybody that is a senior or knows of a senior that the graduation is June 28th it starts at 8:30. Uh, you'll use the entrance to the high school on Meadow, which is closest to Ted's. That's the entrance. Ted's hot dog stand there on Meadow. And you'll go around the science wing, uh, back by the Blue Bus Garage and Sportsplex, around the new stadium where is the uh, graduation itself, where you'll be getting out of the car if you are the graduate, to walk across the stage, get your diploma, get a couple pictures taken, and then there's a couple more opportunities. We do have a professional photographer who will take pictures after the stage. Um, uh, 
semi-professional photographer that are in the car uh, with their senior can take pictures as well as we have one who will then um, offer a web page for you to find your child for the ones that she took. So um, we think there'll be a lot of opportunities for picture taking. Um, so you may want to video it um, because there'll be a lot of still pictures being taken as well. So if you're um, in the car, you might want to hit video instead of a uh, 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 photo so that you can show relatives that maybe can't come that day or don't fit in the car. So, um, so that's an option for those people on Sunday. And then we want to remind everybody that the school lunch program that we've been giving out um, will end this Friday, but the uh, city's program for lunches at the parks will start on uh, the 29th, we understand. So um, go to their website or the rec department website and find out about when and where you can get those lunches. And we'll be back up in September. We want to remind people who are new to the district or if you know someone moving in that while the ad building is open, it's mostly by appointment only. So there is uh, to call and leave a message if you need to register your child or to um, go online and there's still the pre-registration forms and we go through those and then contact you and set up an appointment. So there's a way to get them in as well. Um, we know that people are asking about kindergarten screening and if things progress nicely and we look at stage four um, in this area, we'll look to get some appointments made up in August and start that. If we go backwards or we can't do that or that's not allowed, we will make arrangements to do it the first week of school in September. So we have to worry about that. Let's see what comments we have here. What do you do if a report card does not have a teacher or a room report card? Is the child is going to sixth grade. So um, it may not have had a teacher's name, but it should have had a, a room name because we still were hiring some teachers. Uh, I would call the school and ask them at NTI, leave a message. There will be people in and out all summer. And um, from what I read in some other posts, it was on a separate sheet of paper that was in some of the report cards. It wasn't on the actual report card. Rain dates for graduation ceremony and weather. So there's a rain or shine event. Um, we'll have some tents so the people when they get out of the car don't get wet, the people walking. The people working it, uh, they'll have to just get wet. But um, we'll try and keep the graduate as dry as possible. And as of today, because I kind of watch that 24-7, uh, it looks like 80 and sunny. The thunderstorm moved to Saturday, so we we'll hope that that's the case. Usually that means it will be sent in August, but could still have mistakes. I don't know what that means. Oh, the for the teacher in sixth grade. Um, I don't think they're waiting until August this year. I think we had it all down. We just put room number sometimes because teachers change or there's a retirement or there's other things that happen and teachers have the right to bid on taking another job. So sometimes we don't put the teacher name down if we um, know there's going to be some movement over the summer. The photographer that will be taking the formal picture and the information that is in the envelope with the diploma on how to get it is through Justin's, the one, same ones who were doing helping us with the yearbook and would have been at the regular graduation ceremony at Art Park. So that is that piece. The other kind of volunteer uh, photographer who will take candid photos as they walk across the stage is um, known as the crazy picture lady here in NT. And she will be set up out of the way so the parents have a clear view, but she'll still be able to get some pictures and different angles of them on the stage. And then we'll make those available to everybody who wants those. The Jostens ones will work just like graduation did. If, if you want it, when you go to the site and you like it, um, you can buy it. So the friend should call this NTI. I don't know why that happened. I'll look into it. If I find an answer, I'll post it later, but I don't know why they wouldn't have done that. If it's sixth to seventh grade, I can understand because they'll have five or six teachers because in seventh grade, they change for every subject. But if they're going into sixth grade, there should have been a room number on it. Will there be a, an orientation for fourth graders going into NTI? So we were looking at all those orientations hopefully happening at very, very late August and hoping that um, we know what the criteria will be for opening safely, what um, 
if we have to do it in two groups or three groups because we can only have 100 people or 150 people. Um, so we'll look at scheduling something. Uh, it might just require one parent and one child. I know nobody likes to hear that, but um, we'll follow the rules and get as many people in as we can when we have those sort of orientations for parents going to a new building. All right, so it's um, sort of the wrap-up week here, but we are moving forward with planning. Um, our reorganization meeting is scheduled for July 1st, which is a Wednesday, and that's a regular board meeting. You can call in if you have questions for the board or other comments. Uh, it will be listed on the web page as well as um, the notification that's sent to the news. We'll have our office phone number, and the district clerk will be here. So they basically take your question and then um, tell the board what the question is or the superintendent myself what questions are coming in so I know there's a lot going on in the city and there's a lot of things changing and opening up like the department stores and things like that so those are all good signs let's hope that we continue to wear our masks and keep our numbers low though because we're seeing in other areas those cases are rising and uh, we don't want that we don't want that especially for September uh, I want to stress that, that we kind of really be careful this summer so that we can open up as normally as possible in September because the difference is when we closed in March, we had already had relationships formed and new people and their learning style between teachers and students. Going into September, everybody's moving and that new teacher doesn't know your child, your child doesn't know the teacher. And um, that's very hard because then you're just basically teaching curriculum. You're not, uh, you don't know the child, you don't know that they need extra time and all those things or um, that they do better when they have, you know, a color example versus a written example or something like that. So those are all things, I mean, we, we have to really give our, all of our teachers here in North Tonawanda and across the country a big, huge pat on the back because uh, the stories I hear of them reaching out to students and parents and trying to make sure that they continued with learning and helping everybody as best as possible were really heartwarming because um, this took us all a little bit by surprise. Um, and going forward, we just hope to improve on it if we have to go back to that. But um, we have to hope that things get better and we can get back to normal. So for those of you who are related to or um, our 12th graders, We'll see you Sunday morning. Can't wait for that. And in the meantime, if you have questions, you can always call each of the buildings. You can call the administration building and uh, ask us your question. And I don't monitor this hourly or daily, but I do look at the comments in Facebook when it's shared. So I get back to people as time presents or as I get the answer um, from the people who have it. So we want to wish you all a safe, healthy summer. I will probably not be uh, doing a live on July 1st, but I'll be on the board meeting live. So you can talk to me at the board meeting if you need to. And then I'll be back July 8th with some updates uh, from the state and what we're doing with planning and reopening. So in the meantime, please share the thought exchange link. Give us your feedback on uh, yay or nay and what worked and what we can do better with the distance learning that we just went through. And we know that that um, has a lot of improvements that could happen, but um, we're excited to get started uh, in the next couple of weeks, uh, getting everyone a little bit of a, a 4th of July week off here and then getting right back to business on the 6th. Uh, yes. So yes, that's why we want to we want to get more information and then train everyone better, especially um, with expectations on how to meet and reach out and connect with uh, teachers and uh, parents and students uh, if we have to do this again. Because we don't know what they'll say. Like if there is a COVID case reported in a school, um, let's just you know pick fourth grade. Um, so little Billy Joey, you know, has. Uh, comes, calls the nurse and says, um, we have COVID in the house. Is that classroom shut down? Is it 24 hours? Is it 48 hours? Is the whole building shut down? What, you know, what happens um, in those cases? And we're waiting for that guidance. So we don't want to skip a beat and we want to be able to pick up and keep moving because nothing can replace in-person education. So thank you. Stay safe. Have a good summer and we will see you soon. 
All right. I will um, be back. We'll be on July 1st for the board meeting, 530, and then we'll be back with a live update on July 8th. Thank you. Stay safe. Enjoy your summer.